Hello everyone, do you want to draw cool scenes in wide angle? Fisheye Perspective is the tool to achieve more dynamic backgrounds. In my previous video linked below, we went over the different types of perspective and tried out linear perspective. But today I'll be demonstrating 5 point perspective, adding new dimensions to basic linear perspective, and making it curvilinear. This art piece will be part of a 3 video series on different art techniques to add more effects to your drawings. Like the name suggests, you can achieve this with 5 points of perspective, or 5 vanishing points. The vanishing points are developed with a vertical and horizontal axis with 4 points at the ends of each line and a 5th point in the center. As you get away from the vertical or horizontal axis, or the horizon line, the previously straight line will become more distorted and curved as the field of vision is being stretched out, which is why we have these curved horizontal and vertical lines meeting at opposite ends of the line, or the vanishing points. So getting into today's drawing, I'm going to draw a bunch of cubes to demonstrate the curve in straight edge objects using this perspective. Here I've redrawn the curvilinear grid, but the four outer vanishing points are outside of the drawing. I do this on purpose because going outside of the circle would be outside of the field of visions, so I like to keep my vanishing points stretched out way across the drawing unless I'm trying to show extreme distortion. Let me add a quick gesture of my character where I will surround my background. Now to demonstrate curvilinear perspective, let's get to drawing cubes. The first cube is to the left of the vertical axis and above the horizon line. Using these two axes in relation to the object will dictate which way to distort the curvature of the object. So this cube left of the vertical axis will follow the grid and curve outwards towards the left with vertical lines and then the horizontal lines will curve upwards with the bottom face of the cube showing. The exact opposite curvature happens when you go below the horizon line and to the right with the top face showing. And then as you get closer to the horizon line, the horizontal lines start straightening out and the vertical lines straighten out as you position closer to the vertical axis. The only constant straight line is the lines coming from the very center vanishing point and coming towards the viewer. I like doing fisheye perspective because you can have more organic sweeping lines and you don't really need a ruler unless you're trying to be exact, which requires a little more geometry, but in making comics or manga, you just have to make it look about right or believable to get the job done. It all comes down to visualizing the vanishing points to know where the lines or curves are coming from. So after going to basic cube shapes, you can follow the grid and adding details to build up your backgrounds. Here I'm adding a sphere and then cubes which will become generators. I'm going to go for a high tech type, I guess steampunk background with lots of machinery and pipes. In building up to this, I start out with basic cube shapes and add more detail with vertical and horizontal curves or what used to be straight lines. I also use some manga reference or real machines as inspiration to keep the objects varied. After that, I'll skip the figure drawing and just draw in the character. The character is supposed to be a hologram figure coming out of the round contraption. In the next video, I'll show you how to use screen tone on Clip Studio to make a hologram effect. So if you want to see how this drawing progresses, feel free to check out that video. And to see the final picture, check out my Instagram below. But this should wrap up the quick demo of 5 point perspective. I hope this helps in making cool art, manga, and comics. And with that, we wrap up our video. If you found this content helpful, please consider leaving a thumbs up below and subscribe if you want to see more content about creating comics and manga. If you want to follow my other social media and work, the links are in the description. Finally, if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you guys next time.